Hello YouTube and Sophie here, welcome back. Today's video is going to be my media inventory. Obviously, we are not media anymore. I mean, we are in the middle of August, but all of the numbers I'm going to talk about are as of uh, June 30th, so the midway point. Usually, um, in inventories, I show pictures, but I don't, I'm not going to today because realistically, I my inventory did not change a lot since the beginning of the year. So I'm going to link my, well, beginning of the year inventory for 2023. And I'm also going to talk about the value of my collection, not for every categories, but I just want to point a few things. If you didn't know, I'm on a 1000 euros no buy because uh since the beginning of 2022 is it i think i want the value of my stash to go down my beauty stash to go down by 1000 euros which i'm i'm, I'm not I'm kind of fading right now but i want to talk about a few numbers here that made me realize why i want um, less products like i know i'm overwhelmed kind of so that's the first thing but also when i really attached the value of each product and totaled everything i realized that come on we need to do something about this that's literally money collecting dust so let's get started with this inventory all right, let's start with skincare um, and let's begin with moisturizers. At the beginning of the year, I had four. I finished three. I had to buy one. So now I have two moisturizers. For serums, at the beginning of the year, I had one. I finished one. I bought two. So now I have two moisturizers and uh, now serums. For scrubs facial scrubs body scrubs at the beginning of the year i had two i finished two i bought one i now have one left masks i want this category to disappear i had hope uh, for this category to disappear for this update but no i still have my one and only mask left it's going to be gone by the end of the year okay so at the beginning of the year i had one to have one for cleansers at the beginning of the year i had two my mistake i thought i had none so i bought the second one and then discovered the first one i finished one of these and now i have one left for body lotion at the beginning of the year i had two i finished two and now i have one left and perfume is not really skincare but it's in my skincare i had three and i still have three i think i'm gonna stop talking about this category uh because it's pretty much under control now when i receive perfume samples i use them pretty much right away so they don't accumulate and i don't plan on panning any perfume like I just want to use them organically so in total for skincare i have by the way i forgot to say that i'm going to look this way because this is where my computer is with all of my numbers so in total for skincare right now i have 11 products so if you don't count um perfume i have eight products and i think i'm pretty much almost at my minimum that's eight, eight skincare products. I want to finish a mask. That would be seven. Um, I think I'm always going to have pretty much, well, I have high chances to have a backup of moisturizers. I have two at the moment. Serums. I don't know if I'm going to continue to have two, but two is not bad. Yeah. I, I, I think I'm going, going to stay at around seven products for my skincare. And now it's only worth only 200 Euro, 297 euros and 66 cents. 
which most of it is perfume like if I take out my perfume, my skincare is worth 93 euros and 66 cents, which I believe is great. It's not, it's not too much, at least to me. All right, now let's talk about the biggest pieces of this inventory, which is of course makeup. Let's start with my bases and especially with primers first so at the beginning of the year i had two primers i still have two i actually finished one and bought, and bought another one right now in the middle of august i actually have one left i finished the second one and i miss having uh, like a mattifying primer so i believe i'm going to stay at two primers i also think um when i first started in inventories i think i said that i want to be at two primers and this is what i need i really miss having a mattifying primer at the moment so uh that's it for primers pretty quick foundation though i i have a lot at the beginning of 2023 i had 69 and now i have 70. Foundation is it's my kryptonite. I love trying foundations. I love wearing foundation, even though I don't wear foundation a lot. Um, just because I ride a motorcycle, which I cannot wear foundation with a full. How do you call it? A full, like a, a helmet which is completely closed so can't really wear foundation when i have to ride my motorcycle i'm pretty sure you understand why um so i love buying foundation trying foundation but it's really hard for me to finish any so i have a lot i have a lot i actually don't have 70 foundations i have 63 foundations and seven foundation mixers because even though i love trying foundation i am also struggling to choose like a a good shade for me i also think it's not available for most ranges so that's that um so yeah i finished two foundations since uh, the beginning of the year i actually finished one foundation and one foundation mixer and I bought three foundation mixers. Now, like I said, I have a lot of foundations. Uh, this is my biggest base category, and this is also the most expensive base category. Now, all of my foundations and foundation mixers are worth 2000 and 16 euros and 51 cents which is actually pretty much half of the value of my base category on average my foundations are also my most expensive base products right now my 70 foundation products are on average on average worth um 28 euros and 80 cents so if i again 1000 euros not buy if i want to reach that goal focusing on um foundation is kind of smart only kinda because it's hard to finish foundation at least for me i already explained why but I have a lot of pretty expensive foundations, so if I could finish a few, um, it would help me reach my goal. Now let's talk about concealers. I had 19 at the beginning of the year, I still have 19, which is, I mean, I'm disappointed in myself. I was thinking I would have one, even two empties, but the media point, which I don't. Um, yeah however i think i will have four concealer empties by the end of the year 
if I'm smart about it. So this category is going to go down by the end of, by the, end of the year, even though it didn't buy the meteor points. We have a problem though. The problem is the concealers I have left are pretty big. Like they have a lot of products in them. So I think it's going to take me a year to finish a concealer, like one concealer basically. Which means it's going to take me, I don't know, 15 years to finish all of my concealers. Not a good perspective. Powders. I had 16 at the beginning of the year. I now have 15. I finished one. Not a lot to say about this category. Contour products, cream and powders. I had 13 at the beginning of the year. I still have 13. I've had 13 for a while now. Um, I think this category really went up in 2021. Uh, but by, by then I had one category for bronzer and contour. So can't really say bronzers. Again, cream and powder bronzers at the beginning of the year I had 10, now I have 9, I finished one, it was actually a mineral foundation by e.l.f. but I bought it as a bronzer and I used it as a bronzer. And oh, oh, I just realized that on average my bronzer category is my most expensive category. Foundation is on average 28 80 euros and bronzers is actually 29.66 euros i think that's because of my charlotte tilbury bronzers like if i take them out how many or oh, how much oh yeah it's still 26 euros but hey okay that's interesting that's really interesting i did not realize that Blush is my second biggest category for my base. I have 62 blushes. This category really grew last year. Really grew last year. Um, so 62, still have 62. This category is not going to budge for a long time. We all know how hard and for how long you have to work on a blush to finish it. So that's that this category like i said in my is my second most expensive but it's my uh, no not my second most expensive it my is it, it is my second biggest category but it's my yes it's my less expensive base category by far by far uh, on average, my blushes are worth eight euros and eighty-three cents. So I have a lot of inexpensive blushes. And last category for base is highlighters. If you've been on my channel before, you know that I don't have highlighters, but I still have thirty-three, which is to last compared to the beginning of the year. At least I have to last. Uh, uh, not blushes, but highlighters to finish. I have a goal to use up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight highlighters this year. Ah, so far, I'm at two. I don't think I'm going to finish eight highlighters this year. Um, by the way, I only use them up on with, with mixed with body lotion. That's the only way I can finish a highlighter so that's it for my base products so in total i had 226 products and now i have 223. i think it's the first time since i tracked my inventory that my base products went down i'm actually surprised yeah i'm actually surprised like I said, my foundations are worth almost half of the value of my base products. My base products are worth 4,045 euros and 81 cents. This 
is not my most expensive makeup category but we are not that far the most expensive one is eyes but i have way more do i yes i have way way more eye products than base products for eyes let's start with eyeshadow primers and co like i have glitter primers mixing medium etc etc i had five at the beginning of the year and now i have six i added one uh, eye primer then i have loose eyeshadows i had 45 i still have 45 pressed single eyeshadow like in um you know the own compact i used to have 61 i have now 62 um what can i say palettes i used to have 48 i have now 49 um I caved and bought the ABH Novena Volume 5 palette, which is 70 euros. Um, <clears throat> so, yeah. my palettes, even though, well, I have 49. I almost said I don't have that many, but 49 is quite a bit. Oh, interesting. I thought my palette category was the most expensive category in my eye category well no I thought either it was this or my eyeshadow singles like the single pants and I thought the difference would be big but it's the difference is not even by well yeah it's almost two euros like one euro and 91 cents difference okay that's <laughs> ah god that's uh yeah uh so before that so uh let's talk about palettes again like i said i have 49 palettes they are 1448 euros and two cents i know that this number maybe will go up i just received a package uh, maybe will go up but i'm sure it won't go down i'm not an eyeshadow panner even less a eyeshadow palette panner so that's pretty much 1500 euros lot in this category let's continue let's talk about mascaras at the beginning of the year i had one i have two at the moment and i think i'm pretty much gonna stay at two i have one at home one in my makeup bag which is in my work backpack i often leave home with my eye makeup on but with no mascara on because i'm just running to work late so i think two is pretty much the number i'm gonna have also i think i'm always gonna have a backup so two mascaras is gonna be brow products brow powders brow pencil brow pomade brow products i had nine at the beginning of the year i still have nine and i'm sure this category is gonna stay like this for a while because i only have brow powders and brow pomades left and both are really hard to go through you have to work on them for years I mean, it on average takes me two years to finish a brow pomade and I have never finished a brow powder. So this category is going to stay like this for a while. Thankfully, it's only worth 123 euros and 40 cents. So that's not too much. On average, my brow products are worth 
13 euros and 68 cents eye pencils i'm really 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 proud of this category i used to have 13 i have now 11. i i was like i don't even remember finishing the two eye pencils but now that i'm looking at it i finished a black pencil and my urban decay purple pencil yeah it took me quite a while to finish these two so Hopefully I can finish another pencil by the end of the year, but if I finish the year at 11, I'm going to be pretty proud of myself. Let's talk about liquid liners. I used to have, uh, no, I used to have nine. I'll now have 10 because I bought, um, I bought a pen liner. And let me tell you, I was missing a pen liner. I was not wearing pretty much any liner anymore, like a wing, and I missed it. So I don't know how I'm going to use up my other liquid liners. I really have to focus on them one way or another. But man, okay, next cream and liquid eyeshadows. I have 27. I still have 27. I'm gonna have 27 for quite a while. I'm not at all focusing on my liquid eyeshadows and cream eyeshadows. So, um, glitters 15. Still have 15. Have, have, have had 15 for well since. Oh, let me think about a thing. Last year I received a pressed glitter from Misty and I put it in my eyeshadow singles, not in my glitters. Whatever. I still have 15. That product is still counted. And now let's talk about singles. Okay. <sighs> singles. Singles is my biggest category by far far in my eye category and pretty much in my entire collection at the beginning of 2023 i had 172 singles but then kind of recently yes kind of recently i realized that my Sydney Grace eyeshadows were missing from my uh, from my inventory. That's 27 eyeshadows missing. So that category went up by 27 without me doing anything, without me doing any buying. So that hurt because I don't want to fiddle with my numbers too much. So instead of just adding the numbers previously i'm adding it in my major points i mean i don't need more makeup anyway so i just have to work even harder to get out of my no buy and i received a few shadows as gifts um so i received how many Five. I received five eyeshadows as gifts and I did not buy any though. <sighs> Thank you. I did not buy any. Um, so I went from 172 eyeshadows to 204 eyeshadows and it's not worth 1,459 euros and 91 cents. Kinda hurts. Kinda hurts. Most of my eyeshadows are, or when I bought them, they were at the six, seven euros mark. So now, on average, my eyeshadows are worth seven euros and sixteen cents. My oldest eyeshadows are. A lot of affordable eyeshadows lately i've been dipping into indie which is obviously more expensive 
not necessarily that much but when you compare 10 moons eyeshadow which are 11 or 15 euros to morphe eyeshadows which were two euros two dollars just throw two euros because it was pretty much the same thing uh, i mean yeah <laughs> um this uh this category is also one which wants it, it won't budge a lot. I'm not an eyeshadow partner. So, thanks to this uh, little forgotten piece of my inventory, I went from 404 products, eye products, to 439 products. Okay, now let's talk about lips. I don't have any lip balms, just so you know. So let's start with lip liners. I used to have 12 lip liners. I still have 12. And I think I'm only panning one, I believe. And uh, I feel like I can't finish it by the end of the year. So this category is going to stay at 12 for a while. Most of my, uh, most of my lip pencils are inexpensive on average. They are worth three euros and ten cents. I don't invent in invest in lip liners. I don't think I need to. I I I I think I don't need to really. Liquid lipsticks. I used to have forty two. I have now forty one. I finished one. Bullet lipsticks. I used to have seventy one. I finished one. I have now seventy. And lip glosses, I used to have 30, I still have 30. I would like to finish some, a few, by the end of the year, but I'm not wearing gloss this year. So I think it's going to be hard to reach that goal. We'll see. So even though I have a lot of lip products, I mean, I have 153, used to have 155. This category compared to others is not that big now my lip category is worth 1344 euros and 96 cents most of my lip products are inexpensive i don't think you need to spend a lot on lip products liquid lipstick gold lip lipstick lip gloss i mean there is a lot of great formulas for lip products which is why even though i have i mean i still have more than 150 it's not that expensive and so in total for makeup i have <gasps> what i did not realize oh my god i went <laughs> I went from 785 products to 815. That's like 30 more products. What? Oh my god, these Sydney Grace eyeshadows literally killed me. I did not realize. Okay. And let's finish with my nail polishes. I have two bases, nail polish bases to have two. I always wearing gel or gel or gel polish so i'm not using my nail polish bases um nail polish though colored nail polish i have a lot i used to have 130 i have one now 133 um because i caved and bought two ice cream nails nail polish and also one OPI nail polish because it was, well, discounted for, well, for both. All three nail polishes were discounted, which is why I bought them. Um, so, yeah, obviously this is the bulk of the value of my nail polishes. My colored nail polishes are worth 540 euros and 95 cents. And for my top coats, which I have normal, matte, glittery, uh, unicorn skin top coats, I have eight 
and um, I've had it for well for a year maybe I will finish my last normal top coat by the end of the year and I will have to buy another one this is my last right yes this is my last normal top coat so okay so before i reveal the total of my inventory let's talk about the categories that went up down or stayed the same i have nine categories that went up 14 that stayed the same and 10 that went down when you heard all the numbers that i talk about i mean I think no one is surprised and this is also why most of my numbers did not budge in total since the beginning of the year i only finished 20 products and 22 entered my collection remember i have also 27 forgotten products so in total as of june 30th 2023 i have 967 products and it is now worth 1000 no 10,586 euros and 38 cents do you understand why i went on an buy? I think this is ridiculous. I think this is ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see pictures of my products, remember I have my beginning of the year inventory in my description box. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.